Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. I have not made a YouTube video in a while. I just got back from teaching in Charlotte for a couple of days and I have just a minute. I've been at a festival all day and just came back in and I have just a minute to do a weekly challenge that I signed up for and today is the final day to do it so I am going to do it right now. I'll be going to Colorado this week, Colorado Springs, to see my stepdaughter. She's a senior at CSU Pueblo and she's a music major. So I'm going to go with her daddy, my husband, and see our daughter at our senior recital, so that's going to be fun. So I've got, I got my canvas on a turntable, even though it's an 11 by 14 canvas. I found the center point, put it to the center point of my turntable. It's noisy, but I haven't done one of these in a while. And I've got my apron on because I have regular clothes on, so hopefully it won't splash me too bad. But I'm going to uh, put down a white layer really quick. My white is Artist Loft White Flow Acrylic. I do have my canvas kind of taped down to the turntable so it doesn't go flying off because I've had that happen where my canvas was kind of whopper jawed because I didn't secure it. So it is secured and like I said I have not done one of these in a while so I was trying to decide I wanted it to be kind of abstract, but I am not sure if I can pull off an abstract since I'm not used to really painting with the turntable. So I'm not sure if that's what I want to do. I'm going to pop these bubbles real quick. So my colors that I have today, this is folk art that was marked down at Hobby Lobby, brushed metal pale silver. I mixed my own dark brown, lighter brown, a really dark navy blue and a blue jean blue. So I've got these colors that I mixed and the challenge is based on the colors that she assigned me from a photograph. It's a camera roll inspiration photograph trying to decide what I want to do. I could pour them into a cup and do a sink strainer and spin it. I think I might do that. I don't know where dead center is. It needs to be fairly centered. But I'll go ahead and do... I think I'll do that. And the the last color I want out to come out I think will be the silver. So I'm going to start with the silver and I'm going to kind of layer in these colors I think. But I'm going to switch them back and forth. probably have way too much paint, but I am going to use the most part of it. All right, so I got my five colors. I'm going to pour and spin, which is hard to do at the same time. <laughs> I'm not very talented that way, but I'm going to try to do it. So here we go.
Okay. I think I'm going to leave it like that. But I want to stretch it a little bit, maybe. None of my colors had silicone except for the brown. So it's popping out the cells because of my silicone. So I'm going to have to tilt the whole thing because it's on my turntable. Okay, that's all I want to tilt it is that one way. And I think I'm going to leave it be just the way it is. Because I want it to be different from my typical pores. <sighs> I could even... Let me see if I can spin it just a few more times. All right, I'm going to leave that the way it is to keep it unique from my other pores that I typically do. So I'm trying to pull it off. Here it is. It's actually quite pretty. It's unique. I like it. So there is my weekly challenge camera roll challenge is what it's called. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Check out all the links below the video where it says show more. And I will see you on the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.